look, we're flying over to Freezing Town. We're here. Oh, there's there's a horse right there. Yep. Hi, horsey. Oh, they're already they're ready for welcome back to Button uh -oh. Smashing. Welcome back to our playthrough of Pokemon Sword, the Crown Tundra DLC, and uh Burm Rum. Come on, D, Burm Rum. Burm Rum. I'm, I'm gonna tell it to wait. Like, wait. Don't don't. Okay, damn, look at your dreadlocked ass head. <laughs> Shade. What a gorgeous horse. A, a very gorgeous horse. Once again, All right, though, here we go. Battle. Spectrier appeared. Go, Rainy. Shade, indeed. Oh. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get you to do some of these Pokemon voices, okay? Okay. Oh, level seventy-five. Um. Let's go. Don't kill it, please. Am I not supposed to? Oh damn, it hexed me. It's a pre oh. No quick ball. I'll go ahead and use the ultra ball. Oh. Okay, so I ain't supposed to kill it, so it doesn't matter. Oh you are I can't catch it. Ah. Use hex all you want, you little bitch. Probably because it's not for us to catch. Not yet. Okay. At least I don't think so. There you go. <laughs> hey, way to go, Dracozolt. Good job. Let's learn Bolt Beak. Ooh, Bolt Beak. Mm. Huh. Let's see. The user attacks before the target. Ooh. Mm. My speed is pretty decent. Got some high attack, and it is an attack move. Uh, let's see where I uh, You know what? 100. Yeah, let's, tr let's trade it out. There you go. Okay. Yay. Bolt beak. <clears throat> there we go. Go ahead, D. Give me the Pokemon voice. Burn. Burn. Thank you. I need some class participation. Brark. Brark, indeed. God damn it, this fucking course. Eee! Crown. Burr. Shade. It was about to kill that grandma. Yeah, it was. Like straight up murder. Wow. Are you all right? Yes. I feel like something stepped in to save me. Maybe it did. Maybe. Maybe. Da, 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 da. Oh, something's there for me to pick up. Let's go and grab it. What is it on the ground? It's horseshit. Tuft black mane hair. No, it's his hair. Put the tuft of black mane hair in the key items bag. Mane hair that belonged to the king of Bountiful Harvest's beloved steed, Spectrier. The hair is very smooth to the touch. Hmm. Our kind visitor. How can I possibly oh thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the Dandra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tales. The loyal steed of the king. Ah, but no doubt I am overthinking things. Hmm. What is that you have there? Is that a tuft of black mane? Oh my god, this is an irritating. In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of the loyal steed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity, which links the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave the reins of unity. Following an ancient tradition passed down over my land. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the range has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Ooh, Thank yes. you very much for your help. 
Kind traveler. All right. I told you, just, you it was a story. You were right. I was wrong. I apologize. And he still got control of Peony. Yeah, he does. Like, could, could you leave, could you let let dude get a break? Nope. nope. We gotta we gotta go over there and, and talk to him. Because of course we do. Also, how did you not like you're staring in the same direction? How did you not see the king? Me? Oh, people in the village. Oh. Mm -hmm. You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. <laughs> depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. Uh, Your yeah. ass is asking for a fucking He's lot. He's asking for a lot. What's that? You can make a set of reins with mane hair from my loyal steed and a flower that I can grow? A flower. A flower, yes. But of course, I had assumed that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the material needed. I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drains much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There is only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. Let me, okay. Let me, let me, yeah, one second, I'm gonna start up again. Yeah. Did you do it? Yeah. Cronus yeah. Bloomus. Take this, human child. Thank you for the rate. It's a petal, not a flower. A single petal that the King of Bountiful Harvest gave you, it radiates faint light. Huh. 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 Whew. It shames me to admit, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know that if that petal will be enough, but I still must ask that you use it to try to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reins for me should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. You are asking a whole lot for a lot. Are you okay, Peony? I get that. I need to know if he's okay. He probably doesn't. Even I, know. I don't. I don't want to find out that, like, you know. Oh, I didn't even. He's know being it. tortured. Yeah. I yeah. Did I did I go up here before? Uh, I think you did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Or did I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Because there was a poke ball over here. Okay. So now where do we have to go? Uh, we gotta go back to the mayor's office. All right. But he's making preparations, so let me guess. He's not in here. He's not in here. Oh, no, he is. Okay. Okay. Oh! Hello again, savior of our village. Come to do some more reading? Not this time. I beg your pardon! You want me to make a set of reins of unity? Well, I say that presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-granddad were still around, he'd have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we've no one left who knows that there's no ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you need to forge a set of reins. Got a pedal at least. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a pedal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the King of Bountiful oh, oh my God! Has truly no, no. I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made reigns of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. Those were two key materials: a flower and hairs from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions. How long since faded from memory? Still, how could I refuse a favor to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. You gonna read that? Do I need to? Yes. Okay. You handed the tuft of black mane, hair, and radiant petal over to the mayor. Thank you. Appreciate it. I that. think you just implemented me to read that for no reason. Yeah, I did. 
I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great granddad were made, but time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village! Click clack, click clack! Thank you. Whir, whir! <laughs> I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I fancy myself a crafty enough short, but I suppose it'll take a craftsman of truly delicate technique to make such fine rings. Oh, please don't look so dejected. I'm very sorry, truly I am. Fuck. Oi, yeah. Mayor. The hot water in my sour scenes have gone on holiday. Oh, yes, terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it. Stone. Oh, you're here too, Chief. We're in the middle of something. The pair of you seem awful gloomy. Here's what had happened. What? Is that all? Yeah. So all you need to do is make some nice cord. Pass me those materials for a mo. All right, got for a mo? Like a moment. Yeah. No. Yeah, for a moment. Uh, got my pedal, got my hair, got all this kind of flair. Uh-huh, I'm getting bars. Bars. British bars. Now, what am I supposed to do with them? <laughs> if I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legend. Yeah, you sing it. Blossom woven round and round, royal gift in maze. Airbound! Steady on, no bloke. The singers of... Wait, my bad. Steady on, old bloke. The thing is a bit much. Oh well, that'll do for an answer. Hi! <laughs> okay. All finished. Have a look. Think this will do? I guess it does. <laughs> Go ahead, D. All right. Cords that shine when you hold them up to the light. The people of old times presented these to the King of Bountiful Harvest to express their gratitude. You're more capable than your face lets on. Are you, what? What? Those reins of unity are the spinning image of those in my family's tales. <laughs> I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. He sews her clothes? Yeah. Oh, cool. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly, Chief. <laughs> in any case... It seems who got the reins on your you mean? Isn't that just smashing? Never again. You gonna pick your voices wisely now? Yeah, maybe. Good, you should. Cause what the devil? Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep again outside. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at our base. But the water's coming out. The water coming out was ice cold. I got ultra mega surprised and jumped out. Okay, well. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Hugh and child, were you able to make the reins of unity? Yes. You bet. Oh joy, what glorious news. I have some good news of my own. I was able to finally track down my loyal steed. Spectre is making its home in the crowd shrine. It is a place where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. I had been avoiding that place as I feared I would get trapped in mine own nostalgia. Why has my loyal steed made this shrine its home? Is it reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. The crown shine, crown, crown shine, crown shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Bring the carrot in the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come when you feel you are ready. I am counting on you, child. I have a name. It's, and you're going to take you're going to take Peony, yep. okay? Just going to he's just, going to take him. Yep. Going to take him. All right. You go ahead and read that for me. Okay. Using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokemon that was once the king's loyal steed, along with the radi the radiant petal gr grown by Calyrex itself, was able to re recreate the reigns of unity. Now I need to head back to the Crown Shrine where the steed's been living to meet up with Calyrex. Hmm. Okay. okay, first of all, is okay, so it's this way, right? I think so. Can you look at the map and see? Yeah, I'm about to see. Okay, where are we? 
the happy face, right? Yeah. So the yeah. So I uh, so so where is he? Up north. Is that purple flag it? Yeah, that purple okay. flag is it. So I can take the flying taxi here mm-hmm. and get back on my bike. Get on my giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, little doggy, making our way to the crown. Up, giddy up, giddy up, little doggy, making our way to the crown. See, that's the location where it would be if you went to the ice one. Ah. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, two, three, four. Making our way to fuck you. Making Why? our way to the crown. Making our way. Making our way, making our way to the crown, to the crown. Already. Yeah, I had, to, I had to throw the Negro spiritual up on there. I don't know why. <laughs> why not? This is a long way to go. It is definitely a long way to go, but at least now we know, like... We've charted most of this cave. Wait, sparkly thing? Quick ball, yay. We've charted most of our way here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I... Yeah, I think I go up. Got a max revive. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. Pass to the peak. Yeah, here you go. Wow. I actually, uh... What are you? Do we have that? What are you? We have that. No, we don't. Okay, what are you? I want to catch you. You're a frost moth. Oh my god. Okay, frost moth. I'm gonna warn you. It is not the time be to a be bitch. a bitch. <laughs> Get in and stay in the ball. Because we've okay. cured a lot of shit. I don't want to attack you. I don't want to attack you. There you go. See. See what happens when you stay in the goddamn ball? You live happily ever after. Jesus Christ. Way to go. Go ahead and read this and then we'll, right. we'll end it. Okay. Icy scales fall from its wings like snow as it flies over fields and mountains. The temperature of its wings is less than, Jesus, that's cold, negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. So you basically, if you touch it, you're dead. Yeah. That's, that's, bas- that's basically what's going that's on. That's basically what they're saying. You touch it, you're dead. Anyway. We'll catch y'all next time on Button Smashes. Hope you're having a wonderful day and having a great one out there. Peace. Catch you later. Deuces. Bye.